Hello, my name is Joe, and uh, my aim today is to teach you how to make a midsummer flower crown in honour of Mrs. Noah, much like the one I'm wearing right now. So all you really need is a pair of secateurs or a pair of sharp scissors, that would do fine, um, and your garden. For the basis of the crown, today I'm going to use some, some clematis, um, but you could use honeysuckle, um, saplings of young trees, willow, uh, anything like that. Anything that's got a, like, a nice flexibility to it and um, strength that you can sort of weave around. You just need a length long enough to go um, just a little over twice around the circumference of your head. So uh, next up we want some some greens, some leaves to go on the crown and I've selected this shrub which looks good. We're going to start on the flowers. Um, there's some nice oxeye daisies here. So traditionally, in the Scandinavian tradition, you want uh, seven different types of flower in your crown. Um, let's find some ones with nice long stems. So for my seventh flower, I'm going to break with tradition and I'm going to put a bit of lavender in there. So from this clematis, I've just uh, selected this section here um, and I've just trimmed off the ends and any kind of other kind of join bits, branches, and then make a kind of nice head sized loop like that, and then test it out in your head. You probably want to go a little bit bigger than your head because once you've wrapped stuff around, um, it will make it slightly fatter. So yeah, that looks good. That's about right. And then just weave, it's generally easier to weave the, the, sl the thinner, end around until you have something that will sort of stay in a shape like that and then I'm just going to tuck the end just between like that so there we go might not look like very much now, but that's quite good for a start. So it's, a good idea is to um, work out where your front's going to be, and then you can sort of put the best bits at the front and near the front and not worry too much about the back. Um, so I've decided this is going to be the front. This is where my forehead is going to be. Just find a little hole, thread it through. So you're kind of working backwards and then wrap this around. A crown and then find somewhere the end where you can poke that through so you've got a bit of green on there to start another one to come to join up I'll do it so it joins up in the middle here so I'm gonna go through here and we've got our two nice bits at the front there Nice listening to the sound of the rain. I'm just sheltered here underneath an oak tree. You know, it's a similar kind of way in which you'd make a Christmas wreath or whatever, somewhere between that and a sort of daisy chain, really. You can just, you really use your initiative with these things, I think. People fear that there's some tradition traditional way to do things but as far as i'm concerned you can use your own judgment so i'm gonna do the same with these and just weave them in that way and then around and then tuck the end without popping anything else out Sorry if I keep moving it 
off the screen. It's quite difficult to hold it in exactly the right place when I'm weaving the flowers. Yeah, I don't know where this tradition comes from. Obviously, it's a strong one in uh, Scandinavia with the celebration of Midsummer, but I imagine it's a ancient pagan tradition. But it's just a nice uh, celebration of the summer flowers, as far as I'm concerned. Um, almost forgotten where my uh, where my front was now. I think it was here somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, it shouldn't really matter. Sure, you can be a bit more organised than I am. Rather haphazard. These have got shorter stems, so less weaving. They might be more prone to falling out. Although actually, now we've got quite a good structure. They uh, Bit of yellow. Certainly wouldn't worry about the symmetry too much. Less garish yellow going in. Something I would normally have done to be making a crown this time. Actually, it's quite nice to be out in the garden and uh, a chance to look more closely at some of the flowers. I've gone rather big with this red rose here. It may look a little out of place. Ooh, some of the leaves, there it go. I guess the only place really is bang in the middle. So there you have a rather basic, rustic, um, non-florist-approved uh, midsummer crown.